the, the Kosovan population, the ethnic Albanian population, had been through such a process of cultural apartheid, of, of ethnic cleansing, and that's not me saying that, being a propagandist, that's about, you know, 10,000 Kosovan ethnic Albanians being slaughtered at the hands of Serb paramilitaries and the aftermath of that and how artists respond to that, how they recover from that, how the people recover. Kosovo is really one fragile state at the moment. In my work, I have tried, I have used the weapons from the last war in Kosovo. My message from my art is not to speak about the war. My message is to bring, uh, to speak about the peace. And for me, it was one very strange uh, feeling, the war. I have tried to go inside the war. And, and later I have a feel, feeling that war was inside, deep inside me, very deep. And I cannot go out to, to paint or to draw or to, to sculpt flowers, for example. How can I say? I, have, I am not in the situation to, to make art, uh, to show people beautiful things, because I live in a place where, where it doesn't happen beautiful things. The army was very near beside, uh, to my house, and I have claimed I was with my children, uh, children, my wife, and my all, all my family. And I, 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 have all, I have always in my head, oh my God, because I, I will lose all. The fear was deep inside me. I quite sure that the, this same feeling that was in my children also. For me, it was one start point to make this feeling visually, to make in drawing and, and, uh, and in sculpture. And maybe people, when they saw this, maybe this is, they can, they can feel this dramatic time in, in, my, in my world. And this is maybe, maybe one mess, strong message to say, oh, no, I don't like weapons, no weapons. And maybe, and also, in the other side, I, I want to, to provocate to the people. This is as a medi medium can provocate. It is per my personal story, but I want to, to bring to the people one univer universal story who everybody can understand what is this, you know. It, it was uh, 23 March 99, when my wife, the two children, they went to my parents in Presheva and I stayed in Pristina in my flat. It was hard, but really I don't like to remember the day because uh, I know that when my son uh, he kissed me and uh, he went and then he come back again and he said, Father, does the Serbs will kill you, you know? And all the time when I remember this sentence, so it became me very strong feelings, you know, the, about one million people during uh, the war, last war, who went out of Kosovo, you know, it was terrible things. And so you can't, you can't be uh, indifferent across, uh, across the situation, how, how it was in Kosovo, you know. 
everything bad what can happen to a person, it happens to, my, to us, I mean to Albanian people. And so this is maybe one of the picture which I like because I see the history in this picture. When I see the history, I mean, I see that we are alive. Now I believe that we are alive yet. But uh, one time or so sometimes during this 26 year, exactly for the last war, really me and mostly of the people that thought that Albanian people no more, they, can't, they cannot come back more because one million people they went out of Kosovo. It's about uh, saying that you know we're still here. You d you didn't kill us. You didn't you didn't destroy our culture. And it, and I think that's why this artwork is so important because the Serbian authorities try to suppress Kosovan Albanian identity. From the beginning, when I start to, uh, to work on my profession, uh, the most important thing was that uh, all the time I was, uh, I was trying to uh, express myself and to be at the same time an object and a subject of the work. The name of that project was Journeys to Memories. I didn't want to do something that will remind me the, the bad past, war and stuff like that. So I've decided to do uh, something beautiful through that project. And those photos that you saw, the self-portrait up, uh, I wanted through my design on my nails and the decoration of my hand, I wanted to describe my personal past. And through the decoration of my eyes, I was looking into the future. I paint about the war. Uh, you see, uh, I have lost uh, 52 members of my family. So you've lost 52 members of yeah, your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this is appreciation for the uh, aid that come to us, uh, American people and the English people. The NATO intervention? Yeah, NATO intervention. So I painted the place and a lot of cats. When we were escaping from the, from the war, uh, nobody was in the street, just the cats. They didn't have any kind of identity, you see? So they were free of the bullets and we were a target for a bullet. Your paintings have, they're alive. They have great intensity, yeah. great color. I love life. And uh, they are coming from my heart. I wanted to make a war painting, but uh, with uh, lots of colors. Because after the war comes something else, something beautiful. So all of my paintings are uh, they have a message for peace. An artist's voice sometimes comes before a diplomat's voice or an economist's voice. Sometimes the artist is, is, is ahead of the game and sometimes their, their work, their, their, it, it, it's, in, it's an act for me, this exhibition and the Zimbabwean exhibition were both acts of cultural diplomacy. It was a way of bringing the issue to Manchester, bringing the issue to Stockport, bringing the artwork here, bringing the artists here.